I've got this 40 by 60 barn and it's dark. It's very dark. It's very annoying. And I've been using shop shop lights when I'm working here. Mainly this has been a storage facility, but as we're slowly moving into the house, it's starting to clear out where I can clean it up a bit. It needs lights because it's uh, impossible to work in here and see anything. These are 200 watt LED high bay lights I got off of Amazon there. Let's see here. Oh man, you can't see anything. Anyway. This is UFO 200-6000. So they're 6000K color. They're 200 watts. And I'm going to install six of them. And this shop is 40 by 60. Let's get in the light a little bit. Here's what they look like. Yeah, you still really can't see much. Anyway, eh, maybe you can see that. <clears throat> They've got a eye bolt you thread in the middle and then you can hang them. And then they've got a three wire system here. The 200 watts, so I'm actually, I'm gonna run six of them on one 20 amp circuit. And that'll be probably about 11 amps. And then I'll have like a 15 amp switch. Um, the way I'm gonna set these up, well, this isn't pretty, but just a, for a sanity check, I just did some quick math on a scratch paper. But I'm going to set them in 10 foot from each wall with 20 foot spacing in between each light, which will give, you know, a 10 foot radius around every light. I'm going to check these out real quick and make sure they work. But the instructions say brown is positive, blue is negative. Yellow is not connected, which I think is kind of strange. You'd think that would be ground. But I tried to check the continuity on the wire and I'm not getting any feedback. So just want to check these lights out. I've got it rigged up here. And I'm going to just plug it in and see what, what it looks like. Always keep a pigtail like this just to do little checks. Oh man, this outlet doesn't work. Boing. It's nice. Oh. Nice and bright. Getting hot. The lights are, yeah, that's getting pretty hot. It'll take a while. Okay. Let's get these hung up. Get some nice lights going in here. Oh, they're almost cool immediately. So I guess. Plug these in? Nah. Trying to debate if I want to do a plug or a... Just wire them directly. Wire them. That's probably just wire them directly. So I've got a loft in this barn and I think my... I think I'll be able... So that's a 20 foot wide loft up top. So I should be able to work from the edge of the loft. And I should be able to come in. So that's a somewhere in there and put one. I don't know. Maybe right there. Right there. Way back there. And then the same thing down the other side. Right. 
get this breaker put in. I'm gonna run the lights down here. So I'll put that back over here. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That give me 14 uh, circuits to string around. That ought to be plenty. All right. I'm going to put this box right here. So I'm going to cut the top of this off. drop one in probably have three coming out get up here and put a little a few of these in right, I'm gonna have to go get a couple of extensions see if I can Reach through one hole and reach the other. Okay, I'm gonna hurry up here because I'm running out of daylight. So what I've done is I've cut six of these boards. I'm going to put a hook on them and I'm going to drop them down into here and try and nail them in. And so this will be 10 feet and 10 feet over and then I'm going to go 20 feet and all that good stuff. I couldn't find any ceiling boxes at Lowe's and uh, so I'm going to have to come back later and put ceiling boxes in. But from what I can get done now, well, the floor is supposed to be 20 feet but it's actually uh, 19 feet wide, so I'm going to uh, measure off six inches of the floor here. But I've gone down and measured 10 feet in, and that's, uh, that's about two inches over, two or three inches over. Mark here. I'll probably use I think this quarter inch drill is going to be perfect. I just ate a big old bowl of spaghetti. This is so painful. I'm gonna throw up. Ugh. All right, I got that flush. I got that flush with the base there. more to do. Okay, I like it. Time for some lights. one over the door real quick see how deep it needs to go kind of like just hang it on the kind of like just that just hang it as high as possible I don't know if that works
works out pretty good. I'll, I'll leave it like that. String some wire up here. Okay, there they are. There's one. Oh, you probably can't see that. It's too dark in here. And then the other two are under the door. Running out of daylight here. Don't think I'll be able to do much more. Hey, can you see my little contraption there? Redneck uh, spool runner. Board with nails in it. Here's what I got going on here. I got red, hot, blue, neutral, and then I just hooked up that green and yellow to the ground. Alright, I'm gonna wire this switch up. Okay, let's get a switch here. <clears throat> well, there's a shop I'm putting in these 20 amp switches. It's can actually just feel how much heavier they are. Let's see, incoming. I always like to put my incoming to the farthest left. It's just something that that way I can remember. If I always do it, then chances are if I forget what I did, I can always fall back on my. Test the first one out at least. Well, it works. I need to bridge all these together now. shoved in there <clears throat> it's gonna be the one that's gonna be hard to get tightened up or give these little wires a tug and make sure they're cinched down This one's actually going to be a challenge because I've got to string it across. And I guess the only way to string it across is to get a ladder. Alright, I got the extension ladder set up. I'm going to try and drag that wa wire across here.
Hey, one more. Two percent battery. I'm gonna have enough. Ah, uh, jokes on you, GoPro. I have another battery. Okay. Like I said, these need sealing boxes, junction boxes, and uh, I'll have to keep looking for them. I'm gonna have to wait for the hardware store to get them back in stock. I'm not for sure. I might put a, I could just put an electrical box down here and make this a plug. That might be a little, uh, might be a little over the top. I think if I could find a ceiling box that I could put around this, and I've seen something like that before, just put like a dome cap or something. I don't know. I'll I'll keep my eyes out and see what's available. Let's see if these work now. Power on. Over here to the switch. Give her some juice. Boom. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, well. We'll see what it's like at night. And if I need to add some extra capacity, I guess I've got some in that one circuit. I think this is going to be good. Just so I don't lose my switches and my faceplate I bought. I'm going to go ahead and drop these in. 